by freaking COVID in September of 2022. And what's crazy is I low-key think I'm giving it back to myself. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shagram is Erin Yvette. And today's date night. <laughs> Again, it's always date night when I film. But yeah, I did my braids a couple days ago, y'all, with some copper hair from my hair store. And I actually blended it with some number two. And I'm really liking how it looks. My house looks a mess, but in this video, we are going to be traveling back home to Florida. So today is Thursday. And I kind of want to give you a little spiel of what the hell has been going on. Y'all, I have just honestly been taking some time to myself trying to figure out what this transition has been like just being in Texas. And I know I'm touching all my hair and stuff. I'm really trying to just figure this out because I haven't filmed in a while. And that's the one thing I'm gonna be honest with myself about through this process is it's okay to be rusty. It's okay to not have everything together. That is the beauty of creating. So here we are in our purest fucking form. My eyebrows need to be done. My lips are getting darker because I've been smoking. And I'm tired. I have to go to work tomorrow and I'm really, really not looking forward to it. So all of that, <laughs> okay, once we've got all that out of the way, I'm good. I did my braids because I'm about to be traveling and y'all, like I didn't, I didn't, um, I want to say steam them. I ain't put no hot water on them so they all bending and everything, but I do like the color. I think she's really, really cute. I'm still going to try to put some hot water because they would look cuter if they were straight. Or I don't know what that cinematic view is, but anyway, yeah. So I'm about to clean my house really quickly. Like I said, I had COVID. My voice still a little, but i'm good apparently i'm not contagious anymore so um i'm going to be washing well i already washed and bleached the stuff that i got for my baby niece baby drew arrived on september 19th and i was really really sad that i didn't go now that's one thing that i promised myself moving forward i'll make sure to be there this is the one time in my life that i haven't really just been present for like a surgery or a major you know medical operation for my sister so it was weird and I was kind of sad that day. But my niece is beautiful. She has the full head of hair. She's smiling, she's got the cutest dimples and she's just lit. So I got a few things for her. We went to Polo, I ordered some things. I have some diapers and whatnot. So I went just now to Dollar Tree because you know how you get a whole bunch of stuff for people? Oh, it's so dark, I'm so sorry. Let me find the light in my house. That's why I was standing in front of the windows there. But yeah, you know how you buy a whole bunch of stuff for people? I had to get gift bags. So I got gift bags and like I said, I bleached everything. So I just want to make sure everything was clean. I passed no germs. And I realized I'm leaving tomorrow when I get off work and I ain't packed not a lick of my own stuff. So I'm about to start packing real quick. And honestly, I need to hop in the shower because like I said, it's also date night. Lately, I have not been wearing makeup. So I think I have my outfit already planned out. It's just some skinny jeans with a nice blouse. You know, show a little skin, nice little blouse. Um, we're going to, some, I think, the Davenport Lounge here in Houston. I've never been. He literally just sent it to my Instagram, and it looks nice. So I was like, oh, let's go. Um, but yeah, let me get cute. Probably do some lashes. Probably do nice skin, because my skin has been freaking out. And probably do a nice lip. That's been, like, my go-to. So, come on. Let's, let's start. <laughs> Google, pause the music. Hey Google, 
Pause the music. The lighting was so much better in here. Okay, y'all, so I happened to pack, clean, do some laundry, took a shower. I decided to change my outfits. I have on like so much mess everywhere. I have on like a little old throwback video. This is like a thrifting outfit that I got and I like DIY did. I decided to wear my hair in a bun today. And like I said, I haven't really been wearing makeup, y'all, so. Alrighty, I feel good. I'm gonna put on some gloss, but I just have like a lip treatment on right now. And yeah, we're gonna go to grab some drinks. I think this place has food as well, but I really just wanna get drunk. I love that he put me onto the happy hour because it's like a bougie way to get drunk. Let me show you my outfit. I don't always dress up for um happy hour. And I damn sure don't wear heels. But I was like, bitch. Why not? Okay, so I'm just wearing these cute shoes. I got them from like a TJ Maxx or something like that. When I saw the nude, I was like, yeah, I had to get them. They're perfect. But anyway, that's how they look. Mind the junk. I was gonna wear those uh, gold ones over there, but I decided on these. Toes super cheap. Anyway, so yeah, here's the outfit. I hate that my skirt is so wrinkly. The bottom is starting to fray, but I feel cute. So, let's go. Y'all look so bad. I'm at the car wash. I just ran some errands this morning and I'm starving, but my nails are cute. And my car really needed to be washed bad, even though she's probably about to get dirty um, from driving and whatnot. She still needs to look good. Like, my car just, you yeah, know, keep up with your car. The birds had a time last night. Cinnamon shot impressive. Yes. What is that you got? You want this right here? Or you want to take it to you? I'm going to take it to go. Okay. Bye. 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 I don't need it. I said, baby, let's oh, take a bite now. before we go eat. Are you eating the whole thing? Eat it, I don't want it. I just wanted a bite. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm smacking y'all. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, hey, I'm so freaking hot. It's 96 degrees outside. We are leaving New Orleans. Let me show y'all my food, y'all. Wish I had a car thing so you guys could see, but anyways, I'm driving first because he's literally at work. But um, we're on our way to Tallahassee. We're sliding through. Hold on, he's calling. Y'all. I don't even know the name of this place. In New Orleans. Crawfish spot. Y'all, we had, oh my God. We had seafood gumbo. We had crab cakes. We got two what is this catfish po' boys and he got like a seafood pasta but it had a lot of dairy i didn't want that this is like literally the best po' boy i've ever had in my life i got it all on my shirt low this is good like the bread is even flaky like mm. y'all that seafood made us sick <laughs> we had to stop at a rest stop in mississippi we in miss a month like the sippy right now and um, my baby had these there. Look at him, look at him. Why is he looking He is so cute. I'm gonna get home to midnight. And I do want to have a late night walk on the beach. Period. This is what happens when you don't live near a beach. I don't sleep. Look, y'all. So we are in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm really fucking tired. We've got a two hour drive to Jacksonville. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be waking up super early to go visit my baby niece. I'm so excited to meet her. Like, she is the most beautiful, besides Blake, of course. Happiest fucking baby. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm talking my shit. Cause Blake Kib, Blake Kib gave me a run for my money. This baby is so fucking happy, y'all. And I ain't gonna post her. Okay, I, I'm, I might post some behind the scenes of like our first moments together but i'm not going to be filming you know a newborn baby if you guys are interested to check out my niece and to meet her you could follow her mom's profile and her mom's blog 
the simple note actually i think she's changed her blog to her name so check her out i'll put my sister's instagram right here um she's been sharing some pretty cool memories memories moments of her pregnancy and of course sharing baby drew and things like that so definitely check her out if you're interested the reason why i'm over here burping we just had threes for the first time in a long time and maliquin is getting his favorite chinese restaurant here we literally just got here the first thing we did was get food i think he's going to see a few friends while we're here oh shit um yeah i don't know if he's gonna go see his friends or not it's 8 50 right now i'm really tired but i'm also glad they were making decent time i wanted to go to do a midnight stroll on the beach there are like a few things that we kind of wanted to shove into this trip and the beach is definitely one of them but yeah tomorrow we're gonna wake up go meet baby drew i want to take him to my family farm i want to show him the house that i grew up in and just kind of take him to meet a few people maliquin's met my parents and he's met a lot of like my core family whenever i moved a few months ago so i think the main people i want him to meet of course is drew my new baby and um i want him to see like kind of where i grew up if you guys are new here i'm from callahan florida so that's a country town outside of jacksonville and um it's crazy because when Maliquin and I dated for the first time in college, I used to talk about it all the time. So I think this is kind of exciting for him to see. It's not exciting. It's exciting for me to share. I'm really just trying to fill you guys in because I know sometimes I'll pull out my camera and I don't really get to explain what the fuck is going on in that moment. So I'm trying to tell y'all a little bit because it's probably going to be what it's like. We're waking up really early. And um, yeah, so yeah. I do want to stop and go get my sister a gift because the gift that I, like I've been buying stuff for my niece for months and I put it in this big ass gift bag, but y'all, I think I left the gift bag at my house on my fucking counter. I think it's sitting right there. If not, it's in the back underneath Maliquin's um, suitcase. <laughs> so we will see tomorrow when we finally unpack. Guys, I'm sorry, I have not been vlogging. <laughs> I'm trying to do better, so here we are. We're at the gas station. It's not much fun, but we we at Wawa. No Wawa. We don't have Wawa in Texas. Um, I'm gonna check out the one back home. I'm really tired, and I gotta drive from Tampa to Jacksonville. So we bought playlist gonna be lit, you know. But yeah, it was fun being here in Tampa. It was lit. Can't wait to come back. Mustang, onions, green peppers, tomatoes. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's the mess. Oh, it's the best.